Welcome to Biography Zone, where we delve deep into the lives of the most influential figures in history. Today, we're exploring the life of James Clerk Maxwell, a pioneering physicist whose work has profoundly shaped our understanding of electromagnetism, thermodynamics, and much more. Join us as we journey through the life of this extraordinary scientist. James Clerk Maxwell, A Comprehensive Biography Hash Early Life and Background Birth and Family Background James Clerk Maxwell was born on June 13, 1831, at 14 India Street, Edinburgh, Scotland. He hailed from a prominent Scottish family. His father, John Clerk Maxwell, was a lawyer, and his mother, Frances K., came from a well-educated family. The Maxwells originally belonged to Middleby in Domfreshire, and James would later inherit the family estate, Glenlair. Childhood and Early Education Maxwell's mother took charge of his early education fostering his inquisitive nature and encouraging him to explore the world around him. Tragically, she passed away from abdominal cancer when James was just eight years old. His father then took on the responsibility of his education. At the age of ten, Maxwell was sent to Edinburgh Academy where his unique approach to learning often puzzled his teachers. Despite the formal education system not fully accommodating his unconventional methods, Maxwell thrived academically, particularly in mathematics and science. His insatiable curiosity and propensity for asking deep questions about the natural world were evident from a young age. University of Edinburgh. In 1847, Maxwell enrolled at the University of Edinburgh. Although he was younger than most of his peers, he quickly distinguished himself. His early research included a paper on the mechanical explanation of Saturn's rings, which he presented to the Royal Society of Edinburgh at just 14. This early work showcased his remarkable ability to blend theoretical insight with practical investigation. Hash Cambridge Informative Research Trinity College, Cambridge In 1950, Maxwell transferred to Trinity College, Cambridge where he studied under renowned mathematicians such as William Hopkins and George Gabriel Stokes. At Cambridge, he continued to develop his mathematical skills and theoretical understanding of physics. Maxwell graduated in 1854 with a degree in mathematics, earning the prestigious title of Second Wrangler indicating his status as one of the top mathematics students of his year. Fellowship and Early Research After his graduation, Maxwell was awarded a fellowship at Trinity, allowing him to focus on research. His early work at Cambridge encompassed a wide range of topics, including the properties of gases, elasticity, and color vision. Notably, his work on color vision led to the development of the first durable color photograph in 1861. Maxwell demonstrated the additive color theory by photographing a tartan ribbon three times using red, green, and blue filters, then recombining the images to produce a full color photograph. Hash Academic Career and Major Contributions Mary
Driscoll College, Aberdeen. In 1956, Maxwell was appointed to the Chair of Natural Philosophy at Mariscal College, Aberdeen. During his tenure in Aberdeen, he married Catherine Mary Dewar, the daughter of the college principal. Catherine played a crucial role in Maxwell's life, providing support and assisting him in his experiments. Maxwell's research in Aberdeen included significant contributions to the kinetic theory of gases. He developed what is now known as Maxwell's distribution of molecular velocities, a foundational concept in statistical mechanics and thermodynamics. This work helped bridge the gap between macroscopic observations and microscopic behavior of gases. King's College London. In 1960, Maxwell moved to King's College London, where he made his most significant scientific breakthrough, the formulation of Maxwell's equations. These four partial differential equations describe the behavior of electric and magnetic fields and their interactions with matter. Maxwell's equations revealed that electric and magnetic fields travel through space as waves moving at the speed of light, thus unifying the fields of electricity, magnetism, and optics into a single theoretical framework. This unification was a monumental step forward in the understanding of physical laws and laid the groundwork for much of modern physics. Past later life and further research. Glenn Lair and independent research. Despite his groundbreaking work at King's College, Maxwell's health began to decline prompting him to resign in 1865 and retire to his family estate in Glenlair. There, he continued his research independently. One of his major accomplishments during this period was the publication of A Treatise on Electricity and Magnetism in 1873. This two-volume work is considered one of the most important scientific books ever written, detailing the mathematical foundations of electromagnetism and solidifying Maxwell's status as one of the greatest physicists of all time. Cavendish Laboratory, Cambridge In 1871, Maxwell was appointed the first Cavendish Professor of Physics at the University of Cambridge. He was instrumental in establishing the Cavendish Laboratory, emphasizing the importance of experimental work alongside theoretical research. Under his guidance, the laboratory became one of the leading centers for scientific research in the world. At Cambridge, Maxwell continued to explore various scientific questions, including the nature of gases, the theory of heat, and the stability of Saturn's rings. His revisitation of his earlier work on Saturn's rings, now with greater mathematical precision, confirmed his theories and demonstrated the enduring accuracy of his insights. Hash legacy and impact. Influence on modern physics. James Clerk Maxwell's contributions to science are immeasurable. His formulation of the classical theory of electromagnetic radiation fundamentally altered our understanding of the physical world. Maxwell's equations paved the way for the development of special relativity and quantum mechanics. Albert Einstein, who developed the theory of relativity, famously kept a photograph of Maxwell on his wall alongside those of Michael Faraday and Isaac Newton. Einstein once remarked, 
The work of James Clerk Maxwell changed the world forever. Contributions to other fields Maxwell's influence extends beyond theoretical physics. His kinetic theory of gases laid the groundwork for statistical mechanics, which has applications in fields ranging from chemistry to engineering. His work on color vision has had lasting impacts on photography, television, and computer graphics. Personal beliefs and character Maxwell was also a devout Christian, and his faith played a significant role in his life. He saw no conflict between science and religion, believing that both sought to uncover the truth about the natural world. His humility, integrity, and dedication to the pursuit of knowledge earned him the respect and admiration of his peers. Death and Posthumous Recognition James Clerk Maxwell died on November 5, 1879, at the age of 48, from abdominal cancer of the same illness that claimed his mother. His passing was a great loss to the scientific community, but his legacy lives on through his contributions to science and his influence on future generations of physicists. Hash Conclusion James Clerk Maxwell's life and work exemplify the profound impact that one individual can have on the advancement of human knowledge. His pioneering contributions to electromagnetism, statistical mechanics, and color theory continued to shape our understanding of the natural world. Maxwell's legacy endures not only in the scientific principles that bear his name but also in the spirit of inquiry and discovery that he embodied. His work remains a testament to the power of human intellect and the enduring quest for understanding. Thanks for watching. Thank you for joining us on Biography Zone to explore the life and achievements of James Clerk Maxwell. We hope you found this journey through his extraordinary life as fascinating as we did. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth biographies of history's most influential figures. Stay curious.